Avenki, formerly known as Tungus or Solon, is the largest member of the northern group of Tungusic languages, a group which also includes even, Negidal, and the more closely related Orochun language. The name is sometimes wrongly given as Avanks. It is spoken by Avanks in Russia and China. In certain areas the influences of the Yakut and the Buryat languages are particularly strong. The influence of Russian in general is overwhelming in 1979, 75.2% of the Avenkis spoke Russian, rising to 92.7% in 2002. Avenki children were forced to learn Russian at Soviet residential schools, and returned with a poor ability to speak their mother tongue. The Avenki language varies considerably among its dialects which are divided into three large groups, the northern, the southern and the eastern dialects. These are further divided into minor dialects. A written language was created for Avenkis in the Soviet Union in 1931, first using a Latin alphabet, and from 1937 a Cyrillic one. In China, Avenki is written experimentally in the Mongolian script. The language is generally considered endangered. <laughs> Genetic affiliation Avenki is a member of the Tungusic family. Its similarity to Manchu, the best documented member of the family, was noted hundreds of years ago, first by botanist P. S. Pallas in the late 18th century, and then in a more formal linguistic study by M. A. Castron in the mid-19th century, regarded as a «pioneer treatise» in the field of Tungusology. The exact internal structure of the Tungusic family is a matter of some debate. Some scholars propose two sub-families, one for Manchu, and another for all the other Tungusic languages, including Avenki. SIL International's Ethnologue divides Tungusic into two sub-families, Northern and Southern, with Avenki alongside Even and Negidal in the Northern sub-family, and the Southern family itself subdivided into Southwestern among which Manchu and Southeastern Nanai and others. Others propose three or more sub-families, or at the extreme a continuum with Manchu at one end and Avenki at the other. Dialects Buladova enumerated 14 dialects and 50 sub-dialects within Russia, spread over a wide geographical area ranging from the Yenisei River to Sakhalin. These may be divided into three major groups primarily on the basis of phonology. Northern Spirant Ilampeya, Ilampeya, Agata and Bolashoi, Porog, Tura, Tutanshani, Dudinka, Kantai Yurbagachen, Yurbagachen, Nakano Southern Sibilant Hushing Sim, Tokma or Upper Nipa, Upper Lena or Kachug, Angara Northern Baikal, Northern Baikal, Upper Lena Hissing Stony Tunguska, Vanavara, Kayumba, Polygus, Sarinda, Timura or Chirinda, Ushami, Kemdalzik, Nipa, Nipa, Kerensk, Vitam Nurcha, Bont Talocha, Bont, Talocha, Tungukochin, Nurcha, Eastern, Sibilant Spirant, Vitam Oyakma dialect, Barguzin, Vitam, Kalar, Oyakma, Tungir, Tako, Upper Alden, Alden, Upper Amur, Amga, Jiltulik, Timpton, Tamat, Kingan, Chulman, Chulman Gilui, Ukyur Zia, Ukyur, Zia, Salemja Berea Ermi, Salemja, Berea, Ermi, Ayan Mai, Ayan, Aim, Mai, Nelikon, Tati, Tugor Chumakan, Tugor, Chumakan, Sakhalin, no subdialects, Avanks in China also speak several dialects. According to Ethnologue, the Hahu or Hoi dialect is considered the standard. Hyler, Aluguya, Olgaya, Chenbeiru, Old Bargu, and Morigal, Murgal dialects also exist. Ethnologue reports these dialects differ significantly from those in Russia. Some works focused on individual Russia dialects include Gortsevskaya 1936, Bargazin, Andriva 1988, Tamat, and Buladova 1999, Sakhalin. Topic. Phonology The Avenki language typically has CV syllables but other structures are possible. Buladova and Grenoble list Avenki as having 11 possible vowel phonemes, a classical five-vowel system with distinctions between long and short vowels except in e, and the addition of a long and short while Nedjelkov claims that there are 13 vowel phonemes. 
Avenki has a moderately small consonant inventory. There are 18 consonants, 21 according to Nedjelkov 1997, in the Avenki language, and it lacks glides or semivowels. Topic: <laughs> Consonants. Below are tables of Avenki consonant phonemes, including those identified by Nedjelkov 1997 in italics. The phoneme, beta, has a word final allophone, f, as well as an intervocalic variant, w. Likewise, some speakers pronounce intervocalic, s, as h. Speakers of some dialects also alternate, b, and, beta. Consonant inventories given by researchers working on dialects in China are largely similar. The differences noted, chow k and kessing et al., give, h, instead of, x, and lack, beta, or, Furthermore, Kessing et al. give d instead of d. Topic: <inaudible> Vowels. Below is a chart of Avenki vowels found among Russian dialects, including those identified by Nedjelkov (1997) in italics. The vowel inventory of the Chinese dialects of Avenki, however, is markedly different. Chowke, 1995, 2009. Like most Tungusic languages, Avenki employs vowel harmony. Suffix vowels are matched to the vowel in the root. However, some vowels i, i, u, u, and certain suffixes do not adhere to the rules of vowel harmony. Knowledge of the rules of vowel harmony is fading as vowel harmony is a complex topic for elementary speakers to grasp. The language is severely endangered, Jan Hunan, and many speakers are multilingual. Topic. Syllable structure Possible syllable structures include V, VC, VCC, CV, CVC, and CVCC. In contrast to dialects in Russia, dialects in China do not have K, nor R, in word initial position. Alphabets <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Russia The creation of the Avenki alphabet began in the 1920s. In May 1928, researcher G. M. Vasilievich prepared for the Avenk students who studied in Leningrad the Memo to Tungus Vacationers. It was a small textbook duplicated on the glass. It used the Vasilievich Avenki alphabet on a Latin graphic basis. A year later, she compiled the first book for reading in the Tungus language, W. N. K. I. L. Dukawinton. This alphabet had the following composition, A B flat H H D D E G G H H E K K L L M N N U P P R R S S T T U U W W Y Y. It also included the diacritical marks, a macron, to indicate the longitude of the sound, and a sub-letter comma, to indicate palatalization. In 1930, it was decided to create a written language for the majority of the peoples of the north of the USSR. The Latin alphabet was chosen as its graphic basis. In the same year, the project of the Avenki alphabet was proposed by Yaw. P. Alcor. This project differed from Vasilevich's alphabet only by the presence of letters for displaying Russian borrowings CC, FF, JJ, WW, ZZ, as well as using VV instead of WW. After some refinement, the letter C was replaced by CC, VV by WW, and the letter YY was excluded. In May 1931, the Avenki Romanized alphabet was officially approved, and in 1932 regular publishing began on it. The basis of the literary language was laid the most studied Nepsky dialect north of the Irkutska region. The official Latinized Avenk alphabet, in which book publishing and schooling were conducted, looked like this. Today, the official written language in Russia for the Avenki language is Cyrillic script. The script has one additional letter. To indicate, it is used only inconsistently in printed works, due to typographical limitations. Boldarev's dictionary uses, instead, other sounds found in Avenki but not Russian, such as, d, lack devoted letters. Instead, d, stands in for both, d, and, d, when the latter pronunciation is intended, it is followed by one of Cyrillic's yodified letters, similar to the way those letters cause palatalization of the preceding consonant in Russian. 
However orthographic decisions like these have resulted in some confusion and transfer of Russian phonetics to Avenki among younger speakers. For example, the spellings D and Di were intended to record D and D i.e. the same vowel sound. However, in Russian, I and Y are respectively two different vowels, I and long vowels are indicated with macrons. Topic. China In the Imperial History of the National Languages of Liao, Jin, and Yuan, Chinese, Qin Ding Liao Jin Yuan San Shi Guo Yu Jia Pinyin, Qin Ding Liao Jin Yuan San Shi Guo Yu Jia, commissioned by the Qianlong Emperor, the Manchu alphabet is used to write Avenki words. Avenki in China is now written in the Latin script and experimentally in the Mongolian script. Avenki scholars made an attempt in the 1980s to create standard written forms for their language, using both Mongolian script and a pinyin-like Latin spelling. They published an Avenki Mongolian Chinese Dictionary et al., 1983, with Avenki words spelled in IPA, a pinyin-like orthography, and Mongolian script, as well as a collection of folk songs in IPA and Mongolian script and Chinese-style numbered musical notation. The orthographic system developed by Chinese Avenki scholars reflects differences between Avenki and Mongol phonology. It uses both and, usually romanized from Mongolian as Q and for per gram. The system uses double letters in both Mongolian and Latin to represent most long vowels, however for ow is written instead of u. The same scholar's collection of songs has some orthographic differences from the table below, namely, long vowels are occasionally written not just doubled but also with an intervening silent showing clear orthographic influence from the Mongolian language. In medial and final positions, t is written in the Manchu script form, avenki. Itself is spelled Iweki, despite Mongolian orthography usually prohibiting the letter combination K. The vowel inventory of this system is also rather different from that of Chowke 1995, 2009. Du 2007 uses a different version of Latin script, which distinguishes certain vowels and consonants more clearly than the system of Kessing et al. Morphology. <laughs> 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 Avenki is highly agglutinating, suffixing, and not flexive, each morpheme is easily recognizable and carries only one piece of meaning. Avenki pronouns distinguish between singular and plural as well as inclusive and exclusive in the first person. The Avenki language has a rich case system—13 cases, though there is some variation among dialects—and it is a nominative-accusative language. Avenki differentiates between alienable and inalienable possession. Alienable possession marks the possessor in the nominative case and the possessum in the possessed case, while inalienable possession is marked by personal indices. Below is a table of cases and suffixes in Avenki, following Nedjelkov 1997. Plurals are marked with il, l, or r before the case marker, if any. Tigelve cup place acd. The cups accusative. Ivulngi or or in Ivul Gen Reindeer PL3 SG POS, the reindeer place of Ivul. Syntax Avenki is a subject object verb and head final language. The subject is marked according to the nominative case, and the object is in the accusative. In Avenki, the indirect object precedes the direct object. Topic: Literary traditions. The Manchu script was used to write Avenki words in the Imperial History of the National Languages of Liao, Jin, and Yuan. The Avenki did not have their own writing system until the introduction of the Latin script in 1931 and the subsequent change to Cyrillic in 1936-7. The literary language was first based on the Nipa dialect of the southern subgroup, but in the 1950s was redesigned with the Stony Tunguska dialect as its basis. Ethnographer S. M. Shirokogorov harshly criticized the childlike literary language, and in a 1930s monograph predicted it would quickly go extinct. Although textbooks through the 8th grade have been published, 
Literary Avenki has not yet achieved the status of a norm which cut across dialects and is understood by speakers of some dialects with great difficulty. However, despite its failure to gain widespread acceptance, within its dialectal base of roughly 5,000 people, it survived and continues in use up to the present. Since the 1930s, folklore, novels, poetry, numerous translations from Russian and other languages. Textbooks, and dictionaries have all been written in Avenki. In Tura former administrative center of the Avenk Autonomous Okrug, the local newspaper includes a weekly supplement written in Avenki. <laughs> <laughs> Language shift and multilingualism There is a large quantity of Russian loan words in Avenki, especially for technologies and concepts that were introduced by the Russian pioneers in Siberia. Avenki is spoken in regions with heavy multilingualism. In their daily life the people come into contact with Russian, Bariat and Yakut, and each of these languages had affected the Avenki language. Russian is the lingua franca of the region, part of the Avenki population is bilingual, and part trilingual. All Avenki know Russian relatively well. In 1998, there were approximately 30,000 ethnic Avenkis living in Russia, and about one third of them spoke the language. Even a decade ago, Buladova was trying to warn speakers and linguists alike there is widespread loss of Avenki, and the language can be considered seriously endangered. According to the 2002 Russian census, there are 35,527 citizens of the Russian Federation who identify themselves as ethnically Avenki, but only 7,580 speakers of the language. In China, there is an ethnic population of 30,500, but only 19,000 are fluent in Avenki, and there are only around 3,000 people who are monolingual in Avenki. Yuha Yan Hunan investigated multilingualism in Hulun Bir northern Inner Mongolia and the adjoining section of Heilongjiang e. in 1996. He found that most Solons still spoke Avenki, and about half knew Dor language as well. Furthermore, Mongolian functioned as a lingua franca among members of all minority groups there, as they tended to do their education in Mongolian medium schools. The only Avenki speakers whom Yan Hunan knew not to speak Mongolian as a second language were the reindeer Avenki sometimes called Yakut in the northern part of Hulun Bir, who used Russian as their language of intercultural communication. Yan Hunan predicted that all of these languages, including Mongolian, were likely to lose ground to Chinese in coming years. However Chao Kei noted more than a decade later that the usage rate of Avenki remained quite high, and that it was still common to find Avenki speakers who were proficient in three, four, or even five languages. There is a small population of Mongolized Hamnagan speakers in Mongolia as well, numbering around 1,000. There is little information regarding revival efforts or Avenki's status now. In 1998, the language was taught in preschools and primary schools and offered as an option in eighth grade. The courses were regarded as an ethnocultural component to bring Avenki language and culture into the curriculum. Instruction as a second language is also available in the Institute of the Peoples of the North at Herzen University, the former St. Petersburg State Pedagogical University. In the 1980s, Christian missionaries working in Siberia translated the Bible into Avenki and a Christian group called the Global Recordings Network records Christian teaching materials in Avenki equals equals notes <laughs>